suddenly it's not draining or I've only just noticed it. So how do we cure that? It's with this two dollar or two pound tool sink plunger. So I pushed it over the drain, the plug hole, I pushed it down flat and now I'm going to slowly suck it up. Now I'm going to repeat that. Oh, there's some rubbish has come out already. Can you see the can you see the rubbish coming out? I want to filter those bits out by hand or with a sieve. I'm putting the plug back in so I can gather those up and then I just keep repeating that process till I'm satisfied it's draining properly. Just an idea um, to block up the, the air holes, the overflow holes so you can get a better pumping action on your, your plunger. I just use duct tapes to tape up the holes. Um, chosen to clean out using a cup to clean out the basin of, of all the dirt and the water and I've refilled it with clean water. I'm going to pull the plug out now and see if we've improved the situation or whether we just have to carry on plunging. Well it's it, not exactly uh, it is going down but not rushing down so I'm going to carry on plunging and the reason I cleaned it is so that we can see if we're pulling up new dirt so that yes there's plenty of new dirt to come up So this is corrosive stuff, so I'm wearing as advised gloves and I'm going to pour the whole bottle down the sink. So it's got a safety cap. This has been standing overnight and I've just put some tape on here to stop the family unintentionally accidentally using the sink. So I've got a kettle full of hot water here. I've, I've let it come off the boil. It's not quite boiling. So I'm going to flush the drain deblocker, the sink deblocker through. Actually, this, this sink doesn't have hot water. It's um, also 50 years old, so I don't know how much muck is down the pipe. A quick plunge anyway. It's supposed to block up those holes, but I can see it's 
paddling fairly well anyway. Nothing's worked so far, so I'm now going to try the cleaning coil. It's a spiral wire that you poke down to clear the muck. Now I'm not surprised this this basin is possibly 50 years old and uh, probably possibly never been cle cleaned out. So I've removed the brush head. I've just got the spring as it were. Okay, so I've now resorted, having tried all other methods, um, I've now resorted to re removing the U-band or P-band as it's sometimes called. And um, I was just reluctant to this because someone's painted the, the connectors. That put, um, so, uh, but although I couldn't move it with my hands, just wouldn't move at all with all my force. In fact, it moved quite easily and without any real strain with these grips here. We call them uh, mole grips. Americans have got a different name for them. So I'm, I can now, I loosen them with that and that they're now undoing quite freely. So, so I didn't have to force, I, I needed to use the tool, the wrench. So I've got a bucket underneath. You can see these are, this is undoing quite freely. So I don't know how often these have been undone in the past 50 years, but it's now moving freely. And I don't know what muck I'm going to find. It's just absolutely clogged, isn't it? It's absolutely, and there's hardly any products going to dissolve that. Um, so I'm now going to clean that, and that will be job done. So this is the side. This is the actual drain side where I was cleaning and poking and using a snake. It just wasn't getting through to here. That's the very narrow passage. And to add to my humiliation, here's um, a bit of the snake that I had to cut off when it got jammed down there. But that wasn't in itself an issue or would have become an issue. There it is there. So I've got to manually clean that out. Just want to show you the kind of Stuff I, I thought this might just be hairs, but it's actually caked on. It seems to be some kind of, it's quite hard. That's why, can you see? And even if you had a good snake, you'd have trouble getting into that. Using gloves because I've used uh, tried to use chemicals. I don't know what residue. So this this side's completely clean. So all the poking about I've done with this 
the snake and probably the chemicals has cleaned this up, but it just couldn't get. I think the, even the snake couldn't get into that. That's why I couldn't. So I won't bore you, but I've got to get something to go around the bend. Um, to make these pieces aren't enormously expensive. It might be worth just getting a new bit. But I'm going to stroke, I'm going to soldier away. Because this is an old unit, the, the, the new bits might be, this might be an equipment, might even be an imperial fitting rather than metric, so then I'd be in trouble. So I really need to empty this. You see, I'm still getting stuff out there. I've washed that through. The only, um, the only disadvantage to this method, which is obviously the 100% the, the way of clearing any bottage, is that um, I've got to make sure that when I refit it, I reseal it so there are no leaks, no drips. So every method has its advantage and disadvantages. If I could have cleared it with a snake, chemically, or whatever, whichever which way, without dismantling, that I would have preferred that. But obviously, that's up to 50 years old. Uh, I don't know the, when the previous owner might have changed that, the house, but... Um, in the end, dismantling the, the P-band, the U-band, was the only possible solution. So here we are. The, so everything's clean now. Um, it's really, I ex had expected the thing to be clogged full of hairs or soap or something, but it's a very solid, like a cull cow. And um, maybe the chemical uh, products had dissolved any hair or soap you know done the best they could but they couldn't touch this so i actually had to use physical force with a screwdriver i've used this um stiff uh, cable there to clean around the band to push around the band um that's good enough this is unit's not going to last for 100 years anyway um as long as it seals properly and the seals look good the, the o-rings um then it's job done so um Let's say this was probably the most difficult type of sink bottage because it's just such an old sink. So this is a live test. I've cleared the um, all the muck, the solid calcinated muck in the P band in the U band. Um, it was taking when I started forty seconds for this sink to drain. All my other solutions, all the other solutions, reduce that to thirty five seconds which is a bit better. I think it, the chemical methods did actually dissolve a lot of the hair and the soap, but they couldn't attack the hard baked on calcare. That needed a screwdriver. Okay, so I'm a bit nervous here. I want to see how quickly it drains now. It was 35 seconds. I haven't put a timer on. So um, I've cleaned out the, the P-band or the U-band and I've um, speeded up the draining from 40 seconds to 20 seconds. But it didn't seem quite, uh, that didn't seem quick enough to me. And then I realised my final mistake and bungle is that I hadn't thought that there's still going to be some blockage in the fixed part of the pipe in here I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything but that's also clogged up so if I put my fingers in then that's also clogged up there's just a tiny central hole so I'm going to free that hopefully without uh, having to remove it 
and let's see how quick we can make the uh, draining. Okay, so it was 40 seconds. We got it down to 20 seconds. Start. It's making a draining noise now. It wasn't before. So it's about 11, 12 seconds. That's good enough. Clearing up is a very important job, especially if you've got a, a nearest and dearest. Um, and I've now put this paper towel on the floor because I want to see um, if I'm getting any trips. It's very hard to see it on the dark tiled floor. So um, I put the paper there and I'll monitor that over 24 hours to see if I'm getting any drips. So I've taken the P-Bend off again. I've cleaned the threads with a wet wipe and then I've bathed it, the threads with a jointing compound. This is it here. Boss White it's called. There's loads of different makes. So I, I suspected suspected I needed to do that the first time round, but I just hoped I'd get away with it. You never do, do you? Uh, I, so I, I, I bathed the, the threads, cleaned the threads and bathed them in the jointing campaign. And they help the, the, the joints uh, lock, uh, tighten more securely and uh, just fill in the little gaps.